13 Action News Update, sponsored by Silver State Schools Credit Union. I'm Kelsey McFarland, and right now on your 13 Action News Update, the Electoral College is set to officially vote for the president tomorrow. Each state is awarded electors from the Electoral College based on its population. Nevada has six electors who will cast their votes for the president. The process usually goes smoothly. The only exception is when state votes fail to be finalized before the college meets. In those rare instances, each state can then step in and cast the vote. That scenario is unlikely since recounts tend to happen quicker now and judges are reluctant to hold up vote counts. Well, no walking across the stage for UNLV grads this year. The commencement ceremony will be held virtually this Tuesday, all in an effort to protect the graduates, faculty and families from the coronavirus. The ceremony for spring graduates will take place at 10 Tuesday morning and winter graduates will hold their ceremony at 4 p.m. the same day. 25 local libraries are temporarily closing. The Las Vegas Clark County Library District says it's due to the rising COVID-19 cases. You can still use the district's website and free Wi-Fi that will remain in available parking lots. Now the closures will go in effect on Wednesday. The district expects reopening with full services on January 4th. Here's what to expect for that seven day planner. Today is going to be very cold. We are starting out in the 30s and landing only at 50 degrees. That's because uh, that's the coolest temperature that we have seen since February 5th of this year. So it will certainly feel winter like today. I expect to bundle up throughout most of your day. Uh, we're going to see some increasing clouds as the system passes just to our north. Uh, otherwise, we are going to stay very dry, cooling off into the mid 30s once again overnight and we are going to be a tad warmer tomorrow landing in the mid to upper 50s through the rest of the week and we expect it to stay dry as well. That was your 13 Action News update. You can find more on our website ktnv.com and our free mobile app.